Hello everybody, this is Pastor Dave. I'm coming to you from our church office. I hope everyone is doing well, you're healthy, your family is well. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't get together tonight or next week. We're going to take two weeks off here and, and then figure out what to do. But I uh, hope to get back together soon. And, and a shout out to everybody, to John and Tina, Terry, Chris and Leah, Denise, Sally, Monty, and Sterling. Hope you've been able to be in the Word during this time. Maybe you have more time on your hands than normal. Open the Bible and and read the Word to see what God has to tell us today in this time. You know, a lot of people seem very afraid, and, and, and rightly so. This is a, a frightening situation, a real crisis. But you know, through it all, we have God Almighty with us. Although fear is near, God is near. So fear doesn't have to be near. We don't have to fear. The psalmist writes in Psalm 27, he says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. That's Psalm 27. We're going to look at a psalm today that hopefully will encourage your heart. I want to start by asking you, as we always start, what are you thankful for? Indeed, there's a lot to be thankful for, even during this time of crisis. And so what are you thankful for? I want you to take a moment to do that. And, you know, you can press the pause button there and, and take some time. If you're doing this together with uh, either your spouse or a friend, uh, you can maybe share it uh, with them. If not, what are you thankful for? I know I'm thankful for health. God <laughs> brought me back after five or six days of what felt uh, like a pretty bad case of the flu. And uh, doing much, much better. I'm thankful for my family being healthy as well. So what are you thankful for? Take a moment. Also, we often ask the question, you know, how can we pray for each other? What, what are some of the needs uh, in, our, in our group? Or maybe somebody we know that has a need. You know, we have a mobile food pantry here. And we've been going around the neighborhood giving out some food for uh, some, some shut-ins. And that's one way that we, we can help. So think about that. Get back with me. Text me. Uh, maybe give me a phone call. Maybe we can help in some way. What I thought we'd do today is we'd take a look at the, the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 91. I want you to take, a, take some time to, to do what we always do when we come to the scriptures. Uh, read it through two, three times. Maybe more. Why not? We have time, right? Read it through and then summarize it. Try to figure out what the, what the author, what the psalmist is saying. And then take some time to ask yourself questions about what is being said. Specifically two questions, the two questions that we always ask. First of all, what does this psalm, what does this scripture teach us about God? Maybe there's something new we learn or, or maybe we, we are reminded of something uh, about God. Whatever. What is? What are we learning about God? And, and just think of everything that just let let your mind to sort of uh, uh, soak up the text and 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 be as uh, be as thorough as possible, uh, uh, thinking through what God has in His text here for us to know about Himself and also about ourselves. So the second question is: What does this text? What does this Psalm teach us about ourselves? So take some time to do that. Put the video on pause, and then come back. I hope this has been a good study for you. Of course, we don't finish with just those two questions. We finish with the I will statement. After studying this text, meditating upon it, that's what you were doing as you read through it through or three times, and then really thought about it and, and, and took uh, inventory of what it was saying. What is God, through His Spirit, teaching you, telling you to do? What what should you do in light of the current crisis? So write that statement down on a, on a piece of paper, maybe a 3 by 5 card, and, and take it with you. And then perform that I will statement over the next couple days. 
love to hear about what your I will statement was, uh, how you how you carried it out, and uh, let's stay in touch. And then next week, we hope to get together a little differently, maybe with a Zoom. I don't know if you're familiar with Zoom, but it's a way for everybody to meet together uh, virtually. And at that point, we can have a real Bible study and uh, see how it works. Could be, could be a lot of fun. Who knows? But in the meantime, uh, stay in the Word. Let's uh, stay together through prayer, lifting each other up. God is with us, and we don't need to fear. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your Word that reminds us that you are indeed near. And at times like this, we need you. We always need you, but especially at these times at these times of crisis. So, Father, thank you for being uh, our God, caring for us, looking after us. We pray for wisdom as, and guidance as we go through this crisis. Uh, we pray, Lord, that we would uh, be encouragement to others around us, uh, helping those that we can, and giving them the word of hope that we have. We thank you for that word of hope that comes to us through your word, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in which we pray in his name. Amen. All right. Take care. Stay healthy. God bless. Talk to you soon. <laughs>